Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Iron Factory IFX48 Haniyamaru <laughs> So yeah, this is their uh, line of uh, Iron Samurai series. Uh, they're making like a legend size Samurai inspired looking uh, figures. So yeah, they are pretty cool. This is obviously Cyclonus version of their uh, Samurai line uh, quite easy because I think in the IDW comics he was already a sort of samurai-ish looking guy. <laughs> so yeah, we got the box right here. Nothing to it. Some screenshot on the back. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So let's stop wasting time with the box. Let's look inside. Not much here. We have the figure right here. And it doesn't hold. Yeah, it can. It can. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of hands. And uh, yeah, we got from uh, sword holding hands, pistol holding hands. So let's take a look. They are all uh, sort of a plastic. So okay, that's nice. So we have open hands. Uh, yoink. We have uh, sword holding hands. Which those are pretty much the one I'm probably going to use because he only has sword, well, a sword. And we have closed fists hand. Well, closed fists with open holes to hold a pistol, maybe. But he doesn't have any pistol, so that's kind of odd. And yeah, so I'm going to keep these open, uh, taken out. Uh, so, instructions pretty simple. Transformation is very simple, so no problem there. So yeah, it's just one side completely white, the other side from robot to vehicle mode, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's take this, put it inside. And we have the figure itself. So we have a couple more accessories. So take out the figure. Oh, can you stand? And yeah, that's one of the main problems with the figure I have right now. We'll come back to this in a moment. So, can you stand? There you go. So, a couple of more accessories. We have a replacement head. This one has a broken horn. So, it's not broken by uh, the package. It was already broken like this. Looks pretty nice. We have the seat. Sheet seat. And we have the sword. So, put these aside. So, we can store the sword inside here. Fits perfectly. It's pretty nice. Uh, that has a pivot right here for some reason. The sword is really nicely detailed. Nice metallic with some nice detail. It's pretty cool. I like it. And finally, we have the figure right here. So, yeah, let's move. Can okay, we move the arms? Yeah, it's really tight. Uh, we do have some gap in the torso. Can we open this up? And yeah, you lift this up and then you clip it back in so this is hold. So yeah, we have the figure right here. And it looks pretty damn good. For a samurai looking figure, it looks really nice. For the fists, uh, we can replace them. Like I said, we have the closed fist right here. You can just pop that out. You have a small ball joint and pop it back in here. There you go. It's a soft plastic, but it really is plastic. And of course you can hold his weapon, so there you go. As for the uh, sword sheet seat, you can pick on the back right here. You can close this here. And then you can plug this in here, so there you go. And you can again exchange the other fist for the other hand. And there you go. And yeah, it looks pretty damn good, good for a samurai looking figure. We we'll have nice head detail. Again, the head is only ball joint, so we can just pop it out. And one of the main problems for me is the horn. You can, the, the horn part just removes itself so easily. It's really, uh, yeah, not, not really good. But yeah, it looks really nice. I'm gonna keep with the double horns. The mouth and everything else looks the same. Looks pretty cool. The head, like I said, on a ball joint, so it can rotate left, right, 
up, down. Just be careful with the horns that keeps puffing out. Arms are on a ball joint. They can really move. Uh, they can move like that. Let's move the, the weapon. We have a bicep rotation here. We do have a double. Not a double. Feels like a double, but it's not double jointed. The elbow and the wrist can move. We do have rotation of the waist. If we move the skirt, the legs can move forward like this, and backward will be hindered a lot. Uh, let's move, move this. You can move the skirt on the side. It goes backward like this. As for, you can do the split like this. Uh, we do have rotation of the upper thigh. The knee bends more than 90 degrees. And we do have some ankle tilt as it, it is on a ball joint. The toes can also move down. So, yeah, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, the skirt likes to move a lot. I mean, it's articulated, so it's good. But, I mean, it, it doesn't want to stay too much in place. Looks good, though. And, uh, yeah, the wings in the back here, again, moves a little bit. It's not... There's a lot of kibble with this figure. It looks good, but there's a lot of kibble, so just be mindful of that. Just gonna move the camera a little bit down. For a comparison, I have the other uh, samurai figure here. Uh, this is the bludgeon. So, yeah, looks really nice together. Can you stay up? So we have another samurai figure looking. So, you yeah, know, they are pretty much same size, pretty good. Uh, for another comparison, we have here the Iron Factory. Another Iron Factory, this is Courage. It's not the Samurai line, so this is just normal line of Iron Factory. So, yeah. Uh, let's move this aside. This also. Uh, another comparison, we have here the Magic Square uh, Cyclonus and the, uh, I think this is uh, Unique Toys or DX9. I'm not too sure which one it is. I don't remember. <laughs> So yeah, we have, uh, I think it's Unique Toys, and then it's Magic Square, and here we have the original Generation Classic, and the, uh, was it the Studio Series? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, the latest Studio Series one, so yeah, looks pretty good. So yeah, he is uh, middle-ish uh, from the other ones, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Now we can go with the transformation, and transformation is uh, not really fun to me. I don't really like it, and a vehicle mode is, eh, you'll see. So yeah, we'll come back. So transformation. So first up, we gotta remove the weapon. So transformation, regardless of the head that you've put or the hands, uh, is gonna transform. So don't don't mind this. So uh, let's start with uh, maybe the wings. So unfold those. Bring the arms out, bring the arms out like this and like this, and then you plug the wings inside the arms right here, like this. Same thing on the other side, so bend the arm outward like this, like this, unfold the wings like this, and plug the wing back in like this. So you have like this weird configuration, but <laughs> yeah, gorilla arm. <laughs> Take the backpack, fold it up. You want to open this up like this, like this, and pull out the cone right here. And then you want to flip this back up, flip this out, flip this back over the head, like this, like this. And then you can close it back to cover the head. And this will peg also in here, like this. Now on each side, kind of hard to see, but you have like these two pegs. That will fit inside the arms. It's kind of hard. There you go. Got one and two. So the arms are now pegged in. Next up, come to the back. Remove the uh, sheet. Pull out this tab. And then you collapse the torso. And then you pull it back in like this. So you have this config. Next up, you want to open up the skirt. And just... Pass it under the arms like this and open it up on the other side. So flip the skirt up, pass it on, and underneath the skirt there's a peg that will peg into the arms. Like this. Same thing on the other side. And it's kind of hard. 
but yeah, there you go. Got this configuration. And the head just moved a little bit. We need to move the head really straight. Close this back up, close it back in. And you can see the head just wants to move. Uh, yeah. Anyway, legs. Accordion this out, close the feet, and bring it this like this. Close the feet and accordion the calf out. Oop. There you go. Close it back in and snap the feet together like this. And we're pretty much done. That's uh, the the whole thing. There's a peg right here. To, the black one needs to peg into the pelvis or the back end. It's really hard to go, but yeah, it doesn't hold too much. But yeah, I just did, but it, it won't hold too much. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole uh, vehicle mode. If you want to, you can take the sheath, 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 <laughs> sorry, and plug this back in. And using this peg right here, you can plug it back onto the back here. And you have like uh, these two pegs. Uh, oops, this need to be straightened up. This will peg onto between the legs, which is really hard to do. Okay, one side, and you plug it on the other side. Come on. Then plug the legs together. And yeah, you got this configuration. Now right here, like I said, the head just, eh, it's really loose, the, 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 the horns. So yeah, we have this configuration, and this is the look of the vehicle mode. So, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the look of it. It's not really that great. Maybe the sword can be put on the other side, it will look better. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's like that. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of the vehicle mode. Someone I looking thing, but the vehicle mode, uh, yeah, transformation not that fun. Uh, the, the pegs right here are very tight and very hard to peg in. Uh, the legs, you have the thing, the, the, the hands sticking out, the feet sticking out. The head just, you know, just pop out. Yeah, yeah it's completely popped out. But uh, yeah, there you go, pop it back in, and then you close it back in, and yeah, it's not it's not the greatest. Maybe if we can turn it around, oops, again, the horns. Ah, everything just goes against you. <laughs> Let's pop this back in. Like I said, I, I really don't like this. The figure itself, the, the, the samurai looking, is great but there's so much thing working against you well that yeah, doesn't work so it has to be like on the other side but yeah i don't want to play too much with it yeah but yeah it's, it doesn't look too good so yeah comparison real quick uh, I can't compare with my bludgeon because my bludgeon, uh, someone I won, it transformed into a tank and it broke, so I can't show it like this. So I have the uh, normal Iron Factory uh, Scourge, so yeah, looks decently sized with it. Uh, we have the uh, DX9, oh, I, 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 this is the uh, Unique Toys, I think, yeah, Unique Toys, Cyclonus. Uh, we have the Magic Squares, Cyclonus. Uh, we have the Generation Classic, <laughs> and we have the Studio Series, so, yeah, cool redemption, but, uh, yeah, he, he is not my best favorite character right now, so, yeah, robot mode, good, vehicle mode, eh, transformation, eh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's up to you if you want it, but, yeah, I, I'd be careful with it, because, there's a lot of flimsy parts, and the, the horns just keeps popping out for no reasons, and... Uh, the the, the Samurai looks is good, 
Oh, well, she's just the vehicle mode doesn't look too good. And the transformation, blah, the hands sticking out, the feet sticking out, everything having troubles, pegging in. Yeah. So it's not not the greatest. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> to me, I recommend uh, not that great. Uh, I'd say only if you're a real fan of the f the character. Oh, I forgot to show, but he has a landing gear here. Can pull down. It's really hard, but there we go. And I think the knee pads also can flip. Uh, they don't seem to be uh, flipping out. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they should, but... Oh yeah, there we go. These flips out. They don't even make landing gear, they just flip out. That's it. <laughs> anyway, no, nah, nah, it's not a real big recommend for me. I mean, if you're a real big fan of the character, go ahead, but otherwise, nah, skip it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Hani Amaru uh, Iron Factory IFX48. So, yeah, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.